We've been so lied to about how bad the building industry and the economy is right now. It's almost shameless that when you open the media up, you get these snippets of little bits of information that tell you that something's going on. But this should be front page news, but it isn't. And footy season's about to start, so that's all good. Let me tell you about some of the lies. Unemployment in this country just jumped from 3.5% to 4.1% and no one even blinked. Like you barely heard anything about it in the news. It barely made any coverage whatsoever because nobody wants to talk about that rapid wall that the economy in Australia has just hit. Now in business, we know it's happening. We can see it everywhere we turn. We've still got crunched supply chains. We've got unemployment hitting the wall. Companies aren't putting on more staff and growing right now. They are bunkering down. They are getting rid of the dead wood and they are holding on for dear life. The interest rate rises that we saw were the fastest, hardest and sharpest in Australian history. And every business out there right now is clenching on with their fingernails and holding the fuck on because this train is a fucking roller coaster. I did the ring around last night, rang up a bunch of mates in business, spoke to everyone that I know that runs a company and employs staff and does their best to keep things grinding and moving in the Australian economy across all different sectors. It didn't matter. And I spoke to one guy who owns a couple of coffee stores that are a part of a really big franchise chain and their sales are right up. They're doing fucking great selling caramel iced lattes. No problem at all. They're up year on year. All good. But everyone I know that's in a supply business and in a building company, everyone said they just had one of the worst months on record post-Christmas that they could recall in the last five years. Now, I know the pandemic pushed everything up, but there's a reckoning happening right now. From 3.5 to 4.1% unemployment, with the amount of interest rate rises that we've had, everything is going to come to a grinding halt. And it's going to happen really, really quickly. This Reserve Bank overdid it. The government is completely blind to it. And what you're seeing right now is a Prime Minister that goes to Taylor Swift concerts and Katy Perry concerts and everything's fine and we'll just not look at that and it's all good and Jim Chalmers says no problem and the opposition are like, yeah, yeah, okay, let's just watch what's happening here. Let's talk about boat people. I can tell you right now, the biggest problem in this economy is the wall it just hit. And all of you out there, you know it, you see it as well. Oh, unless you work for government, then it's all good. Or unless you own a franchise chain of coffee shops making iced caramel lattes for your soy boys.